hey guys, my name is Sammy and I'm a classical pilates teacher and today is a tutorial on overhead. This exercise is similar to jackknife on the mat. I will post that here from March Madness. So you definitely want to start this one there. Sometimes exercises on the reformer actually will help you do some of the mat exercises until you can do them on the mat because it's very difficult to have nothing supporting you when you're on your mat. Sometimes the reformer makes it that much harder because now you have a moving apparatus for the same exercise with a little more coordination that needs to happen. This exercise is considered advanced for that reason and I'm going to show you a way to kind of work up to it with an overhead prep then we'll go into the overhead starting first with the transition from the hundred. So <clears throat> You just did your 100 and you lower down. Both handles into one hand, doesn't matter which hand unless somebody tells you specifically for space in the studio. You're going to tease her up, take off the two inside springs, swivel around, lie down with your free hand, lower your headrest down. And then you take one handle in each hand. Now I do need to move this somehow. And it'll speak a little louder. Okay, so now the overhead prep. You reach your arms up, drawing your stomach in. On your inhale, you press your arms down and you lift your legs. You lower the legs, you lift your arms. Press. This timing has to happen. The hands must touch because if they're in the air when you start going overhead, it's impossible. Not impossible, but just, you're not supposed to do it that way, so don't. <laughs> and lower the legs and lift the arms really important that you really can keep that stomach tight because then this is going to happen as you're trying to lift up and back down and you're just going to get into your back in a negative way okay so drawing that stomach in reaching to come down reaching to the ceiling the more you reach up to go down the less chance of losing your stomach okay so moving on this is going to go inhale up and then you go overhead. You jackknife up, you come back overhead and you place your spine down. I'm hesitant to tell people to roll down because then they tend to crunch their stomach. Okay, we want nice long spine going down. And then you lower the legs and lift the arms. So it's just the prep is missing the middle and now we're filling it in. All right, so now there's rhythm to it. You go inhale up and over two counts, two, one. Exhale, shoot your legs, jackknife fashion, up to the ceiling for two, one. Then you inhale to go back overhead, roll down, exhale, lower the legs, okay? Nice and slow. Pull the stomach in, reach, inhale, up and over. Exhale, up. Inhale, exhale, down. Now I'm going to count it. Inhale, two, one. Up, two, one. Over and down. You can be in a Pilates stance for this. You can be together parallel. And one little thing to make it 10 times harder, especially if you tend to make mountains out of your wrists, but regardless, it makes it 10 times harder, um, in a good way, guys, in a good way, if you're ready for it. Drawing your stomach in, your shoulders are at the bottom part of your shoulder block, and you're gonna inhale and press and keep only the wrists down and go overhead, and dig your shoulders now into the shoulder blocks. Keep the wrist down and lift and lift and lift. Come back, keep just the wrist down. Place the spine lower and lift. Going into the transition for the next part out of this is coordination. Okay, so you just went two, one, two, one. Bend and lift. There are a few variations of that and I'll go over those hopefully in another video. 
anyways, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I will see you next time for something that has to do with Pilates. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.